As a girl growing up in Nigeria, I was taught from a very early age that doing this or doing that is what you needed to have a good husband or to make a very good mother. You were taught to tie wrappers a certain way. We were taught that you had to sit a certain way, crossing your leg onto the side because you had to be put together. We were taught that you had to learn how to prepare for it and look out for your siblings because you are the mother of the house. We were taught that you had to be morally upright, you had to be disciplined, you had to be strong, you had to bear pain because childbirth is the ultimate pain you will encounter. You were taught that you had to be self-sufficient. But along the line, I realized that we always preach girl-child empowerment, teaching our girls what to do and what not to do, but who teaches our boys? With this, I welcome you to another episode of BK Says. I am BK, and you're welcome. Today with me, I have Queen Rafi. Hello, and it feels so good to have you back again. Of course. <laughs> so this is something we've discussed um, off air or on air a couple of times, right? Of course, yeah. Growing up as a girl, what are the things you were taught to do because it's guaranteed you the ultimate goal of getting a future husband or the ultimate goal of being the good mother? I think um, one of the things that was always embedded in my head was that you have to learn how to cook. Like you have to learn how to cook because you will be the one cooking for your future husband and then you have to learn how to entertain guests because if your future husband has guests, how are you going to be able to relate with them? You have to you have to be very lenient with your siblings and love them because what if they are your husband's people, siblings and stuff? And this always embedded in your head that you have to be this, you have to be that. There's a certain level to which you can aspire to, there's a certain level to which you can get to because you are a girl. I'm not faulting our parents for saying all of that, but I just wondered, why is nobody exactly telling the guys what to do? Like, you're going to get married tomorrow. And how to be the good husband. Exactly, you're going to get married tomorrow. Don't you think you should know how to maybe sweep the floor? Or you're going to get married tomorrow. Don't you think you should know how to fix the bulbs in the house? Nobody ever says that to the guys. The, is, the main focus is on you as a lady, the main focus is on you becoming a good wife, you, you becoming a good woman, or you becoming a good mother. Nobody really thinks of, okay, this woman that you're grooming and making her this perfect well, person, standard wife. exactly, what kind of guy is she going to end up with if we're not saying anything to our boys? And there are certain traditions that will say men are not allowed to enter the kitchen. Now, don't get it wrong, I'm not here to question traditions or shake your, the core foundation of your beliefs. I'm not here to doubt or to spite whatever is, tradition I think that's around. already shaking. Yes. But I am African, I'm truly Nigerian, I'm from Kaduna City. <laughs> and I know these things are in place. But are you teaching your sons to take care of their wives? Are you teaching your sons to take care of their sisters? Because we keep saying boy, girl child empowerment. You see, women are doing exploits. CEOs, they're turning into business. They're doing a lot of things. Yeah. They're juggling so much. Yes, men are the providers. Just come back from your 8 to 5 or 9 to 5 and just flip that newspaper if and you, sit. If you even try to look at the statistics right now, you find out that more women are becoming providers. Because these women, we are now having lots of movements, lots of women, women meeting, women awards that are saying, oh, you can be better than this, you can be this, you can be that, you can go forward. But we forget that in as much as we're pushing these women to be the best that they can be, and it is absolutely fantastic because one way or the other, we are benefits of all of those movements. Yes, we are. The men are also looking out for things like that. Have I mean, you heard of boy child empowerment? Exactly, there are some boys who are confused as to who they are supposed to be. A boy in Nigeria grows up just knowing one day I'm going to marry a wife and I have to take care of her. And How? You hear, and you hear comments, you've been interacting with uh, peers or millennials or let's say millennials between 20 to 30 and you hear someone say, oh yes, it's my wife that's supposed to do this. Ah, but I'm just supposed to provide, I'm the provider. And you don't even know how to check maybe when someone is ill, you can't even figure out, oh this person is sick or you should possibly just, I would help you out with this. True. And Clueless. the problem is the, the ladies that are coming up these days are much more exposed and civilized and yes. more brilliant and than the their modern, male contemporaries. The modern day term is called woke. Honestly, they are more woke. Look at this. Look at the, the statistics of girls in school mm -hmm. and boys in school. I'm not saying like it's really high because we're still fighting to get more girls in school. Yes. But if you look at those that are doing way better, the girls are smashing every record possible. 
even when you go to universities, you see girls. I mean, convocation happened like you know last month or so, mm-hmm. and most people who collected awards were ladies. Best lady in this, best in social department. Most of them were ladies, so ladies are smashing more records than ever. And if you need to push, to push, like exactly. if only I am better or I am the best at this, I will get certain recognition. If only I am the best at this, why? But I then the, at the this? boy child or do we say the male child in this age that we are expects that you know this lady who is smashing awards, who is being the CEO, to be like his traditional mom, but that's not possible. So we need to start to reorient the boys to understand there is a new crop of ladies that are evolving and the men need to evolve with that. Yes. And I feel the this day and time doesn't really put pressure on men to evolve or move much. Because you would hear, um, for instance now, you hear it cheating scandal, right? And the first thing someone says is, what was the wife not doing? not what went wrong what was she not doing every single thing that falters must be trailed back to what the wife didn't do or what that girl didn't do or you hear rape cases and they're like maybe she dressed wrong pedophile cases did the children dress wrong and you'll be very surprised as to how many boys actually feel like because a a girl is dressed a certain way she's sending them the wrong signals we're not here to support like you know in the sense dressing or anything but we're just saying that if you're not going to rape your kid's sister because she's not well dressed you have no right to do that to someone else on the road you know it might be hard to understand but if we the new crop of ladies coming up and having kids because i'm sure there are p- people our age who have children yes if you can start to break the stereotype and start to let your boy child realize you're going to become a husband you're going to become a father so there are certain things you need just like you know the girl is going to become a mother and she's going to become a wife and she's trying to have those basic skills the guys too need a basic skill. I think this just calls to all all men in Nigeria yes. who are something. Uh, the world set at up large. a meeting, set up something. There was some time I was in Lagos and I heard something about a men's forum or a men's um, organization. It sounded odd. There are there are men's organizations. There yeah. Are, um, so amazing. there should be many of that because usually you hear women empowerment, women meeting, uh, mothers meeting. Nobody does fathers meeting. Nobody really cares what's happening with the boy child, and it's important because that's why many of them are end up depressed because they don't know what am I supposed to be doing a lot of them have father problems now most times fathers feel okay I'm the father I'm the provider the mother is supposed to be the one connecting emotionally and you see a lot of this a breed of men that have a void a father void in their life that yeah, isn't filled most times they turn to Google for most of the information or most of the things they need to know that their father should have told this is an open call to fathers this is an open call to anybody if you have little boys looking up to you make sure you're available for them so that you don't have to look at um, disturbed places to get help I was doing a research for something I was writing a piece I was writing on boy child empowerment yeah uh, maybe I'll publish this uh, real soon and I was reading articles I looked for articles and journals and you won't believe it was difficult to get stuff on boy child empowerment really really difficult the only time i ever saw something being done for boys i think i was watching a steve harvey show besides boy scouts um a steve harvey show and he has this um convention or something i really can't get it very clear right now but he has this convention where he brings boys together trying to teach them how to be men and you can see some of the boys were really crying because they didn't have father figures and they didn't exactly know what to do i think we confuse the fact that because they are men they they, should be strong. they naturally just know what to do but the truth is they don't know what to do and it, there's a common belief that men shouldn't complain, men should bear it all, men shouldn't cry, boys shouldn't cry, they should be strong, they should provide. Well, that also adds to the problem. Of course, it does add to the problem. So please, if you have boys around you, you really need to help them find who they are. Because as a lady, ask a girl of 15, she already knows what she wants to do. She knows, you know, she's going to get married to this, she's going to do this, she's going to do that. But you ask a boy of 15 and he's wondering, I've not yet started my life. And it's not supposed to be that way. If you're training the girl to understand what she's supposed to look out for in future, then you should be training the guy to understand what he's supposed to look out for in future, not just assuming that, oh, well, you came with the XY chromosome or something, you know what to do. (laughs) Thank you very much for joining me, Queen Ravi. It's always a delight to have her on the show. And with this, we come to the end of BKSAs for this week. Drop your comments, drop your contribution. What do you think about this? Hit me up on my social media handles or via my email address that I'll be dropping in the comment section. Bye.